<clears throat> Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. We are going to get started here right away guys with the Sacred Destiny Oracle card. Oh, I like this one so much. If you've ever had it before, you know this just absolutely delights me. It reminds me of the world, the um, ride, It's a Small World at Disney World. You have the card of change, but this is a change that's positive. It's whimsical. Okay, there's nothing threatening about this. It's a wonderful indication. Change is on the way. So let's see what the tarot can add in here. if we can do that. Okay. Detailed Celtic cross style reading here. Current situation. The Eight of Cups, the immediate influence, the Ace of Pentacles moving on to something better. You have the Emperor in your subconscious, the Tower in the distant past, the Fool in the more recent past. The Eight of Pentacles is coming towards you. You're represented by the Ten of Cups. You're attracting the two of wands. You've got the nine of cups and your hopes and fears. Uh, you know what I like it? The hangman and the outcome, the bottom of the deck here. We have the magician, the five of pentacles, and I feel like there's two cards here, but I guess not. And the four of cups. It's an awfully thick four of cups card, if you ask me. All right, so we have here four, five major arcana. You've got change coming in. We have here, it appears, all the elements represented. Now, I love it that we have both the nine and ten of cups here. Okay, those would be in order. And these two, of course, these did not come out in order. So I won't even try to put them there. But uh, I think I'll do it this way. Um, I like this for you, though. It's like you have a new beginning here. I feel like these cards spoke out. A new beginning that delivers. You're going to be in your bliss and that ten of cups energy representing you. Your cup will be full. It will be overflowing, okay? This is this is pride. It's accomplishment. It's achievement. If it's love, it's heaven sent. It's somebody who does all the day-to-day -day things, all the small things that really add up. Take that leap of faith. It's time to write a new chapter in your story right here and right now. Now, I want to mention, too, and point this out because I like to when it shows up, that the two of wands that you're attracting features the Garden of the Magician, just a little peek of it, but it's a card of manifesting. It's a card of setting your intentions, of dreaming and knowing that you are making it little by little with that Five of Pentacles. But I also feel like, too, with this, you're making gains, but you're also, too, not, not getting yourself involved with things that are not for you with the Four of Cups, okay? This is being able to pass on the mussels at the buffet. You say, I don't even like mussels. I'm not eating those. That sort of thing where you say, I, this is just not for me. That job is not for me. And I feel like something ended and something better is here. It reminds me of my job. We recently had a person who got hired for kind of like a temporary position, but it's fairly important. They cover a lot of spots. I think they lasted all of about I don't know, six days, and the person was a knob. They had absolutely no personality. It was a guy, and he was just kind of droll. They hired somebody else. This guy, young guy, nice-looking guy, upbeat, chipper, go-getter. And I think if we would have kept that other guy, we wouldn't got the new guy. Okay, it's kind of like one of those where something ends and you say, you will look at it and say, that was for the best and highest good. That was a solid ending. Now, I do want to say with that Five of Pentacles, if it's a relationship that ended, there may have been something about it that you know, you're know you a bit bittersweet and moving on. There may be some relationships. I also feel like, too, you may have people in your life who kind of want to keep both of you. You know, they're cordial to them. They're cordial to you. They kind of just don't want to be caught up in the middle of the whole deal. Um, and I, but I do feel like you move on to somebody new, those of you that are single. Um, now, if you're with a partner, it's going to be a change that the two of you can roll with. I don't see it as ending a relationship that's, you know, you're in it to be in it and you have some kind of a change coming in, according to these cards. Now, with the magician, anything is possible. 
but the magician makes you strong and mighty, powerful, creative. You bring heaven to earth. There's no second guessing here. He's not scared. He's not like, Where, what do we do now? Of course not. He, this is you, okay? You and your infinite power. And so I feel like with the job, you have a new opportunity. If you lost a job, I'd say congratulations because you've got something so much better here. I also feel like, too, for somebody, it may be time to start something new with the magician. If you have been considering some sort of a side business, the magician is great for anybody that is a consultant, an entrepreneur. This is a great time, again, for an entrepreneur with this. Or like I said, if you lost a business or lost a job, it may give you that opening where you can say, now is my time to give, give this a shot, give this a whirl. And so with the magician, know that great things will come in. You'll have perfect timing. You'll meet the right people. You'll be attracting the right people. And the ones that aren't, you'll know it right away with that four of cups. So with this, I'm telling you what, you are moving on to higher ground. You have the uh, red robe of desire here a few times. You have the hero on the hero's journey. You're a seeker. That's why you're here. You manifested this reading. Now, if you're entering a new chapter such as retirement, and you've wanted a little side hustle to supplement if you get Social Security or some other kind of income and you say, but I still want to work a little bit. I feel like somebody here has the right position. And I may have told you this before, but I thought it was so wise. I read somebody whose uh, comment they wrote in a, a you know, social media page I'm a part of. And they wrote that they were looking to get kind of a part-time job in retirement. And they could have gone back to where they worked for 15 or 20 years. But they knew if they did, they'd pile the work on them. So they went to somewhere they had never been because the bar was at, set at a normal height. It was set like a, for a new employee. And they said they've never been happier because they know at their old job, they would have expected full-time work out of them at part-time, you know, and all that stuff. So I feel like you leave what isn't for you. You leave anything that's burdensome that holds you back. And for some, there might be a bittersweet part to it. Like you may have thought you weren't quite ready to move on. But boy, is that Ace of Pentacles a big, juicy offer. That's not small potatoes. That's big. And if it's new, if it's resources that you need, like if you're starting some kind of a business and you need a space and you've had your heart set on one, it didn't work out, you walk right into something else. With the Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, it really is meeting the mark. It's meeting your heart's desires. Now, in terms of relationships, too, you may have a bit of a dreamer that you are attracting. Somebody, though, they're solid, okay? They're not, this is not somebody who just does crazy stuff where they go off and try to, you know, what's the next scheme? It's not like that. I feel like they have a solid mind if they do anything financially, like buying real estate or, or flipping houses or something like that. They have an eye for it. They know where to invest and where not to. Okay, but I do feel like they have a bit of that entrepreneurial spirit. I like them a lot. And I also feel like, too, they may be quite skilled with writing. All right, with that two of wands energy, there's something about them I really do enjoy. Now, in your subconscious, again, we've got the red robe of desire here. How many times did I say it was here? At least three or four. Well, with this energy combines passion and discipline in your subconscious. So know that things will be orderly, but they'll still light up your life. This is not boring energy at all. The emperor is in charge, so things will be up to your standards or they will not pass. This is where you may find you're calling the shots. You're going to be tough in any kind of negotiation. You might also find that you notice more things. You notice more problems, but it's beneficial. There's nothing worse than you get home from the grocery store and you realize you bought dented cans. And you go, oh, great. This is food poison haven. Now what? This is where you won't do things like that because you'll notice it. If you're buying a car, you'll notice every single, if it's a used car or pre-owned, how about we say pre-owned? certified even, you'll notice every single little thing about it. And that way you won't get into a position where you go, I should have said something. You will speak your truth in this energy. You will speak up. You will advocate for yourself. You will be in a place where you might even surprise yourself because this is such a strong energy. And so when your subconscious is, has something like this, your conscious mind will become aware of it. 
And that's why I say you may surprise yourself and say, I've never been so detail oriented, or even you might even say particular or possibly demanding. But with this, you will get your own way. I will tell you that. So if money's owed to you too, if you had something that went kaput on you, kablooey, I heard, with this tower moment, if it was a job or if it was even something else, like a car or some kind of situation where someone offered to take it off your hands for a payment, if they have not paid you, I do feel like you have the money coming in. If you've had to send a couple of follow-up emails, or even if there's been a was a mistake on an account, I feel like with that Eight of Pentacles, you will get it straightened around. But this is one of those times when the tower shows up, this is in the past, but it says it's time to let go. It's no longer for you and whatever it was was holding you back. If you don't get into action when this thing strikes, you'll feel so out of control. So if you had a happening, an occurrence that made you or left you feel totally out of control, it was this. Especially if you knew it was time to step up to the plate and you didn't, because we do that sometimes, when we don't really feel like we want something, but we feel like it's inevitable and we go, ah, and all of a sudden it happens and say, darn it, I wish I would have. Okay, but the good news is this is not here to stay, it's here to pass. And all it really does is usher you along. This is like a big push in the tush from the universe. All right, when you have this, I always tell you, let go or be dragged. It's one of those times where it is an exit. It is the universe hitting the eject button on something for you. And so with the fool, get ready because here's where life gets fun again. With the fool, you're ready to take that leap of faith. It is, like I said, a new chapter for you. When the fool shows up too, if it's a job or anything new, your mind is so wide open. You will catch on easily, quickly. This is freedom. It's happiness. It's joy. He's puffed up for a reason. It's great companionship in a relationship too. I feel like you have not only the commitment and the passion, but you have the fun and the folly. Okay, who wants to be in something that's just Dullsville? I saw somebody with Blue Moon ice cream. Is that a regional thing? I know you probably don't get it in Europe or in other, across the, anywhere. If it's Australia, I know there's a lot of people that watch in New Zealand. So you might be going, what is this woman talking about? But that's what it looked like. It looked like this blue ice cream that we used to have in the United States. But either way with that, what I feel like they're representing is almost like being a kid at heart. Because what adult eats that stuff, right? It makes your mouth look like a smurf. I feel like they're saying you have somebody who just helps you relax a little bit. And if that's your current partner, they're showing up here. They have a bit of this energy of the fool. Somebody who's not afraid. Somebody who goes after things. Somebody who is easy about it, though, okay? This is not anxious energy. It's freedom. And so it's nice to have this Eight of Pentacles here because it grounds the fool a little bit so that it's not just mayhem. With this Eight of Pentacles, your focus pays off. Those of you that are owed money, this is going to help. Your follow-through will get that check in your hot little hands. In terms of relationships, too, though, like I said, it brings a, an, a grounding energy that will sure help. Now, you're represented here by the Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups is a fantastic energy for you. It is such a big yes card to whatever it is that you're asking about. It does show it's been some work though. And so like I was saying, I feel like you get a payoff in this next chapter. If it's a relationship, you've got the happy family card. If you're a blended family, it blends smooth, okay? This is one of those times where it just seems like people get along a little bit better. And with the two of wands, twos are partnerships, it's passion, it's growth, it's expansion, it's vision. It's having a shared vision and moving forward. So the time is now because this is also an action card. With that nine of cups, like we were talking about, you'll be sitting pretty. It's high vibrational energy, but it is a card saying that it's an attainment. So I feel like this is a card where you're attaining, you're getting things, all right, right here. And ultimately with the hanged man energy, the number four is represented here. So the hanged man, I feel like is an epiphany, a light bulb, that aha moment where you see things exactly as you need to be seeing them. The hangman, though, is wide open, so expect to be approached by people. Expect to have new opportunities come in because you're open to everything, and when people see that, they will come. So we're going to hear from a couple of oracles. First, The first one will be about money.
another answer regarding your money questions. <clears throat> All right, you have here, tread lightly on such sensitive ground. So we talked a little bit about moving forward. So it may be something where you don't quite run past everyone, right, in your office or if you're moving on from some kind of a business partnership. All right, and this will be about love here, guys. No, not yet. Take more time to think on it. So there may be something with that hangman energy being open, especially too if you have somebody who's pursuing you that you know is a four of cups, like you're not completely into them. I feel like if you have that going on, the next one's the one, okay? Good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.